Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to take our content creation further than we did in the previous video. We're going to add in podcasts and long and get our tools to create longer content. This may seem confusing. It will all make sense once we do it. I will link the previous video below and at the end of this video so you can see what we did then. Right, here is a piece of very light content. It's literally a few ideas that I've linked together uh, with some content and included a picture of my belt. It is about bringing your content to life with storytelling. Right, so we take this and we feed it to Notebook LM, the experimental Google app that takes it summarizes it then one of the options is to create a podcast so if i open up a new window okay new notebook we got a load of sources here if i go back here copy friend link Give it the website. Right, it will analyze it, bring it up. And then we have the option at the moment for a deep dive conversation with two hosts. These will turn out between seven and 10 minutes. Um, and they go really deep in, into it. Plus they pull up stuff that you never mentioned, but is related. Now, this AI can't hallucinate because it is pulling content your content and just using that and then adding depth to it so it's a deep dive rather than just making stuff up it actually sticks to what you've done if you see uh, the last video i did you know, it, i analyzed a book in it and it was excellent right so we do this audio interview. So now we have an audio interview. What can we do with this? Well, the first thing we can do is we can go to Audacity and we can turn the .wav file into a uh, podcast. So it's an MP3 podcast. Now I've added a little bit of audio to the beginning. I'll play the first like 10, 20 seconds so you can hear this. Marketing bites. Okay, ever feel like the internet is just one giant how-to infomercial? It's like three easy steps, this, and guaranteed life hacks, mm -hmm. that. Right, so that is the podcast is created. So this is uh, seven and a half minutes long. So this is a mini podcast that we can take and we can upload. So I have uploaded it to Podbean. We've got seven views yesterday, which is pretty good. Um, that submits it to Apple Podcasts, and then I manually also put it on Spotify. So that's three locations for our mini podcast. We can then take that podcast and we can add it to content. But that is not all. Because we now have a deep dive, we can take that deep dive and transcribe it. So you have a look here. This is to the transcription that I got. Okay, you can see it's actually quite long. And what can we do with that? Well, we can take ChatGPT and we can feed it the transcription. Now, I did try to give it a WAV file, but it wouldn't actually uh, analyze that, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, that will come along soon. Okay. And what I've asked it to do is take the key points and create content. So here is what it's created. If we go back to medium, here we are. Okay, moving beyond how to content, unlocking the power of storytelling. Okay, have you ever felt the internet is drowning in endless how to guides? So this isn't going to appear as AI writing because. It's taken the deep dive 
and it's turned that into an article rather than just imagining it itself and creating that. So here we've got you know, a whole lot about um, stories, how it affects our brain, something I never mentioned in the original article. This is over 700 words long. The original was about 200 words long. This is a two minute read. We go here to stories and we look at drafts. Three minute read, 761 words. If we go to the original, where are we? Okay, we edit this. Move it so you see it better. 390 words. So we've doubled the amount of words. Uh, and it's that easy. We've got a much deeper piece of content simply by running various bits of AI. So let's just run through that again. We had a lightweight article, literally a few ideas put together. Okay. I actually added the audio uh, file in there as well. So people can listen to that if they want. That's the original audio file. We then went to Notebook LM and we created a podcast, a deep dive conversation, which I then created a podcast and uploaded that. We now have a podcast which links back to the original article or to your newsletter or wherever you want it to link. Next, we transcribed that podcast and we gave it to ChatGPT. And ChatGPT then took the key points and wrote its own article based on the deep dive conversation. It has gone, what we're getting is a really deep version of the lightweight article. I hope you found that useful. Any questions, please do ask. This really is starting to become next level uh, of content creation. We're creating a content flywheel from very little information. And that is quite good, makes life easier, especially if you're running a blog. You could create content like this every day. You could create podcasts, link back to the blog, longer content um, on the blog because it's unique. Um, yeah, it opens up a lot of ideas. Let me know if you have any ideas. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, ever feel like the internet is just one giant how-to infomercial? It's like three easy steps, this, and guaranteed life hacks, mm -hmm. that. Right, it's exhausting. Totally. Yeah. And usually about as effective as, you know, a screen door on a submarine. Exactly. So instead of adding to that noise, today we're doing a deep dive into something a little different. Ooh, I like where this is going. You shared that article, you know, the one about making your content stand out. Yeah, yeah. Using storytelling. Yes. And what really stood out to me was, like, it's focus on the W-H-Y, not just the what. Yeah, because anyone can throw jargon around. Yeah. But understanding the why, that's what lets you actually internalize it. You know, actually apply these techniques in different situations. Love that. So the article's core idea is show, don't tell. Which, okay, sounds kind of simple on the surface. It does have that ring to it, doesn't it? It does, but the examples, that's what really makes it click. Like, instead of saying, wake up at 5 a.m. to be productive, he paints this whole picture. Right. The stillness, how it helps him focus before, you know, the day's chaos. And that's not just clever writing. It's tapping into something much deeper, I think. Right. Like, how our brains are actually wired. I mean, we are hardwired for stories. Think about it. It's how we've made sense of the world for, like, millennia. Okay, so it's not just me. Stories really do stick with you more than a list of facts. Oh, absolutely. And there's a ton of research on this. Stories, they activate our emotional centers, like the amygdala, which plays a huge role in memory. Plus, think about it, telling often comes across as preachy. It does. Right? Yeah. Listen to me. I know all the things. But showing through a story, yeah. that's an experience. You're not just, you know, telling someone about a delicious meal. You're letting them taste it. And that's got to be way more persuasive than just saying, hey, trust me, this food is good. Precisely. And that vividness, 
the feeling of being right there in the moment, that's what really makes people connect with your content. Makes total sense. So speaking of vividness, there's this part where he <laughs> describes giving a presentation. Oh, yeah. And he's clearly terrified. Oh, that one gave me chills just reading it. Right. It's like, as I walked in, the chairs were in rows, like soldiers waiting for a firing squad. The podium was center stage, bathed in this harsh spotlight, and my legs were shaking like jelly on a trampoline. Why had I agreed to this? I mean, come on, talk about painting a picture. You instantly get T how nervous he was. Seriously. Like, you're right there with him. You can feel the weight of all those eyes, you know? And he does that with just words. It's incredible. It's masterful the way he uses sensory details and strong verbs. Like, he doesn't just say the room was bright. He says the podium was bathed in this harsh spotlight. Ooh, I love that. And then legs shaking like jelly on a trampoline. Come on, that is genius. Yeah. It's unexpected. It's kind of humorous. Right. But it also conveys that feeling of, like, nervous energy perfectly. Yeah, totally. He could have just said, I was super nervous, you know. But where's the fun in that? And it's not just about finding, like, the perfect words, is it? He also talked about using different kinds of media to tell the story. Oh, absolutely. Because sometimes a picture really is worth a thousand words mm. or even a well-chosen sound effect. Right, right. Remember the picture, the one of the belt that he included? Yes. That wasn't just some random image. Mm -hmm. That represented like his entire weight loss journey. Yeah. And then he even talked about how he turned the article itself into an audio version. Oh, wow. With music and sound effects. It just adds a whole other dimension to the experience. Yeah. See, that's what I love about this whole show don't tell thing. It's not just about the writing itself. It's about thinking of all the tools you have, photos, videos, audio and using them strategically to, you know, evoke those emotions, create a more immersive experience. Exactly. It's about thinking, how can I make people feel this, not just understand it? And it's a skill that, you know, goes way beyond just creating content. Oh, 100%. Think about everyday conversations. Like, if you're trying to convince your friend to watch your new favorite show, you could just tell them it's good. Or yeah. you describe that nail-biting cliffhanger, mm -hmm. the one that had you on the edge of your seat. The way the music swelled. Stop, stop. You're making me want to rewatch it right now. See, that's the power of showing. Suddenly, I'm not just hearing about a TV show. I'm like experiencing it. Yeah, exactly. And that's how you make your message memorable. It's not just about conveying information. It's about forging that emotional connection. Right. And this whole story lesson offer framework that he talked about. Yes. yes. That's a perfect example of how this can work you know, in a more structured way. Story lesson offer. So is that like a storytelling formula? Because I feel like I need a whiteboard for this. It's more of a framework, really. Yeah. Think of it like this. You hook them with a relatable story, something, you know, that your audience connects with. And then you weave in the lesson, the message you're trying to get across. Okay. It just makes it stickier because it's grounded in that emotion. And then finally, you present your, quote, offer, which could be anything, really. A tall to action, a new perspective sometimes just food for thought. So it's not just about telling any old story. It's about like being strategic with it, sneaking in the good stuff while they're busy enjoying the ride. Exactly. And you see this everywhere. I mean, think about marketing campaigns, TED Talks, even just, you know, how we convince our friends to try a new restaurant. Ooh, speaking of. Did I ever tell you about that time I convinced my friend to try that fusion place downtown? <laughs> He's so picky. Oh, I know that place. The kimchi grilled cheese, right? Please tell me you didn't just say, trust me, it's good. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I described the flavors, you know, that perfect balance of spicy and savory, how the cheese oozed out like <sighs> molten lava. He was sprinting there after work. You're good. I swear you like hacked his brain with a kimchi grilled cheese craving. This is amazing. OK, so we've got this show don't tell thing, this story lesson offer framework. It almost feels too simple. Like, why isn't everyone doing this? Because it takes effort. We're so used to defaulting to the easiest way to explain things. Yeah. You know, but the truth is we're all natural storytellers at heart. Mm. We just need to reawaken that instinct. So here's my challenge for you. Pay attention to how stories are used around you in movies and books, even just like everyday conversations. What grabs your attention? What makes you feel something? Then see if you can bring those elements into your own communication. OK, that's really interesting. So whether I'm writing a blog post or, you know, giving a presentation or just trying to convince my neighbor that their cat needs a playmate. Yeah. It's about finding that story, that emotional hook. Exactly. Remember, people might forget what you said, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. That's so true. OK, I am fired up. This has been eye opening. So to wrap things up for our listeners today, it's all about showing, not telling. 
Paint those vivid pictures with your words and don't be afraid to get creative with your delivery. Yes. And like any skill, it takes practice. Don't be afraid to experiment, have fun with it, see what works for you. I love that. You heard it here first, folks. Time to ditch the boring and unleash your inner storyteller. <laughs> Thanks for diving deep with us today, and we'll catch you next time for another adventure in knowledge.